destiny and curiosity and what our own human nature would make us go in the first place. And it's the same with faith and faith and that same curiosity that make us want to return. In an age which can feel increasingly divided, an international team effort is underway to take a new generation of astronauts back to the Lewis. They are the Artemis. Artemis being the sister of Apollo. And they will undertake a series of missions that will orbit and eventually land at the moon's south pole. The moon is not just a symbol of thinking about our place in the universe. It's not just a symbol of exploration. It's actually a beacon for understanding where we came from. One of the things going to space teaches you is that we're all brothers and sisters. And when we work together to do really hard things, it just brings you together in a way nothing else will. This is woven into Artemis. We have to evolve or we will cease to exist on this planet. And part of that evolution is truly working on solutions that make our planet better. Space is doing that. When you look at Apollo, it was just an amazing coincidence of world events that led us to putting humans on the moon in 1969. And I think we were way ahead of our time.
spacecraft at the top of the largest rocket ever built. It was the heaviest vehicle ever meant to fly. And it was packed with explosive power. So that if it were to fail on that 16th of July back in 1969, that disaster would be that Apollo was just too bold to dream. Minus one minute, 35 seconds on the Apollo mission, the flight to land and the first men on the moon. And therefore, as we set sail, we ask God's blessing on the most hazardous and dangerous and greatest invention on which man has ever embarked. Seconds. 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 Seconds.